Hey, it's Nate from Navigator Bookkeeping here with a QuickBooks how-to video. We're going to focus on accounts receivable and invoicing because it's a really necessary piece for all of us business owners out there, right? If your AR is not moving quickly, you're not getting paid, and you're not getting paid, cash flow gets tight. And we all know that what happens when cash flow gets tight. Payroll gets hard to meet. Uh, you're not able to pay yourself. Everything gets stressful. So not something we want to get to. So a great way to improve cash flow, make it a little easier is to um, yeah, get faster on your AR collection and increase that. So one way you can do that is by setting up some recurring reminders on invoices. So I wanted to show you how to do that today, um, as well as just a couple other things here on the invoicing screen. So we're here in QuickBooks. Uh, how we got to this screen where we are right now is on the left navigation bar. We're on get paid and pay, and then we are on invoices. So right now you can see all the invoices in here right now, um, all the ones set up in the sample company here. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on reoccurring reminders. And basically what these will do is they will send a reminder to all of our clients who have an open invoice, reminding them, hey, there's an invoice due, please pay it. Um, and it's a great way just to save you time because it's going to be happening automatically in the background, but also bumping up in customers' email inboxes, reminding them that uh, you do need that invoice paid. Now, if you have a customer who is really not paying you after a long, uh, you know, 15, 30, 60 days after the invoice is due, you will likely have to reach out on top of this. This is just a good reminder for maybe, uh, you know, just kind of a, a forgetful customer who, uh, you know, lost track of your invoice or something like that. So how we're going to do this is we're going to go to the gear icon on the top right here, and we're going to click on um, account and settings. Then we're going to go to sales on the left, and then we're going to scroll down. You can change a lot of things inside of here, custom fields, late fees. There's a lot of good things in here that we can come back to. Um, but we're going to hit reminders here. We're going to hit the uh, pencil icon. And here, this will be off by default, but you can turn this on, automatic invoice reminders. And then what you'll notice here is there's three reminders you can set up um, for kind of whatever amount of time you want. So I'm going to change this to, I want a reminder, um, let's just do three days before the due date. And then I want... Uh, one on the due date, one three days after the due date. So this is going to send three email reminders automatically to every client. Uh, so set up. Now, what you can also do is you can also change the message that goes along with this, which is really nice. You can personalize this and make it sound like it's actually coming from you and not just from QuickBooks and kind of an automated message. And it'll actually fill in even the name and everything for your client. So we're going to press save on that. Um, so now we have automatic messages going out to our clients, which is, yeah, very helpful. Now, one thing too, which is which is a nice tool that QuickBooks has, is it gives you a log of how the invoice has been viewed and if your customer has even looked at it. This is really nice if someone is not paying your invoice, as you can check in on them and uh, see how often they're looking at it, uh, things like that. Working with clients, I've, I've noticed a lot that people will look at invoices quite a few times before paying them, um, which is a good sign usually. It means they're checking it out, you know, making sure the amount is correct. But what it does tell you is if someone has not at all looked at an invoice, it probably got lost in their email inbox or they're avoiding you. But either way, you need to resend that in some way. So how you can look at that information is you can click on the invoice here and it'll give you the activity here when it was opened. Uh, this is when I opened it, when it was sent, viewed. So it'll say how many times it's been viewed and then when it gets paid is all in there as well. If we click edit the invoice, we'll actually also see down here, there's nothing on here right now because this is a sample invoice. But down here on the bottom, it'll actually give you a whole log of um, how many times it's been viewed and when. So it'll actually tell you exactly when the person has looked at the invoice, um, how many times they've looked at it, all those things. So that's a really nice just kind of piece of, uh, it's really nice information to have just when you're trying to figure out how to follow up with the customer and how intense maybe to be with that follow-up as well. So those automatic reminders are a great way. Definitely recommend setting those up. Um, and then, you know, check out your AR every, probably every week if you have quite a few invoices, just to make sure there's no invoices kind of sneaking out of view and uh, make sure that you're following up on those. So hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, reach out. Happy to dive more into this invoicing feature.